All right, so today I'm hitting a little leg day with my coach. What's up? Everybody, this is Jordan. He's probably the weakest guy I know. By far. By Pretty far. small. I don't lift. I just, uh, just pretend. Just lots of steroids and cocaine. <laughs> That's not the truth, I'm kidding. Yeah, uh, just trying to get this guy big and get ready. Hello, gentlemen. What's How's going on, on sir? Right. Get him ready to, uh, to compete this, uh, this upcoming year, so. So I'm finished warming up and I have my BCAAs made and Jordan has told me I have to do a 5 by 10 on squat. Honestly, I knew today's leg workout would be pretty hard, but I didn't think I was going to be leaving in a wheelchair. So currently four sets deep in the squat and pretty dead. I'm feeling like, I feel pretty good, but just super winded, lots of squats. This will be my fifth set. I'm only in five and then whatever coach says next. So, I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Super out of breath on that last set. I'm gassed, but I have to go. But my nose is on my last set. My nose is so full of mucus. It all like sucked into my throat. So like Dan on my, my set, then I probably my seventh rep. It was all in my throat and I couldn't breathe. I low key started to freak out for a second. I don't know if you'll be able to tell in the video or not, but taking three to four minutes and then going to hit some leg extensions. All right, so we got Travis doing, we're gonna do some legs today. Um, basically we're doing an adaptation, adaptation of uh, SFT7. It's uh, Henny Rambod's program that he's done for all of his, uh, all of the, his clients. He uh, is the inventor of uh, EvoGen. He's coached uh, really big uh, bodybuilding athletes like uh, Nicole Wilkins, Jeremy Buendia, Phil Heath. Um, a lot of uh, Olympic titles under his belt, so clearly knows what he's talking about. Uh, I took the easy way out. I got, I got a little bit of chest today, uh, but we got him new legs, so um, we just got to do that time under tension to push all that blood to those legs just to get them to grow as much as possible. Uh, we got some half reps going, static pauses. Um, one of them, uh, for example, lift with both legs, drop one, and you're basically doing a negative. Uh, with one leg each and I'll also give them a little bit of resistance as well. Um, on their final last set, the fourth set, what I'm having to do is just stand uh, his heels pretty close together and just flex and press that blood. Just force all those blood to that, those legs just to get that growth going. Um, so hopefully he doesn't die today. Um, like I said, uh, this is a key to get your, any body part to grow is to do like a lot of static pauses and just force that blood all to those body parts. So uh, hopefully, uh, we make it through today, so we'll do a little bit of uh, shoulders tomorrow. One thing people don't uh, people don't think about when they train legs is how much core stability it really uses. Because I'm only one workout in through my squat, squat day, leg day, and my my core is just on fire. Like, guess just keep it braced and locked. Because you don't really think about your core is a, it's a big thing. It really you use it in every lift. So mine's definitely on fire right now. So I'm gonna get these next couple sets of leg press in and uh, I'll kind of show y'all how they go.
and show me pictures of his kids. And all I could show him was pictures of my cribs. He said his daughter got a brand new report card, card. And all I got was a brand new sports car. Oh. So we are on to the last set of leg press. It is going to be seven full extensions, seven uh, half extensions from the bottom, seven half extensions from the top, and then the last set is kind of a burnout. I don't know how many I'll be able to get because legs are gassed, but I'm going to push you to get some good blood flow in there, uh, get these little chicken legs to grow. But I couldn't hear him all the way in first class. Chased a good life my whole life long. Look back on my life and my life gone Where did I go wrong? So bad news, my camera battery died Honestly, I need to invest in like a second battery because battery goes by super fast when I'm recording on the gym. So it'll be okay. I just have to finish the rest of the workout on my phone. So we're about to hit some uh, hamstrings, super setted with calf raises. Uh, what are we hitting for hamstrings specifically? Uh, so what we're going to do is do a stiff leg deadlift. Uh, so basically, when I have him uh, using dumbbells versus the machine, it's less tension uh, on the kneecaps. Uh, just want to keep his knees fresh uh, through the uh, bulking uh, weight gain process. So we're going to have him just do the stiff leg deadlift. Um, basically just keep your uh, feet about six inches apart, going down slow using your glutes and your hamstrings to track back up. Uh, we're going to do four sets of that, uh, 12 just normal. We're going to have him do two of those. And the last two, we're going to have him do some, some half reps, pauses at the bottom, and squeezes at the top. Just like before, just going to push all that blood to those hamstrings, get him to grow. Then train my little itty bitty calves and get those to grow too. I haven't been super setting my hamstring and the calves, so I'm on my second set of uh, hamstrings. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish those and then just do calves separate. Uh, two more sets, and I'll show you how those next two sets look. There you go. There you go. Good squeeze at the top. Resistance, okay? Ah. There you go. Okay, so wrapped up the workout and uh, got back. So, mom picked me up and we are on the way to go pick up my car because it's been in the shop, so. Yeah, it'll be nice to have it back so I don't feel like I'm 15 again getting picked up and dropped off everywhere. But, yeah, and then got my camera battery charged. I was able to charge it in the truck. So, finally got my car back and we are now leaving the uh, dealership slash like service place. It was only one day, but it felt like it was gone for a really long time, but it's nice. The weird thing is, I've got my car back now and they fixed a bunch of problems I was having like some uh, some hoses were like damaged and some like other stuff I don't know because the the coolant was leaking it caused a bunch of like uh, hoses and stuff to rot so they fixed all that but the weird part is my check engine light is still on so check engine light is still on weirdly so I don't really know what's up with that in the fix was pretty costly so I think in the future I'll be selling this bad boy so uh hit me up if you want to buy it just kidding not really I think right now actually I'm gonna go and visit my old workplace and say what's up probably pick up some creatine because I am I'm out I have pills but I, I like just scooping it so I think I'll stop by there and say what's up yeah. Hey everybody, this is Sonata. Hi, welcome back to the family, uh, Travis. Yeah, it's nice. It's been a while. To, nice to come back and see everybody. This is Gideon, the gym dog. Hey. 
Hey, you see him pray? Boy. He's praying. <laughs> wow, the music in here right now is really giving it the vibe. So now we're going to turn down that music. So you guys can focus. What's up, man? Is this, uh, is this a vlog? Yes, <laughs> this is for the vlog. I didn't know you were here. Everybody, this is Brayden. Hi, everybody. I'm Brayden, as he said. The strongest deadlifter I know. Ha ha. 12. At 12? You're I don't enjoy that you brought this back to this community. What are you thinking about this? I don't. I don't. Huh? Think Did you look? Is that a neck? Oh my gosh, I can see myself. Yeah, introduce Hi, yourself. I'm um, Yaya. Um, that's all you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> Left Indu, picked up this like sick Christmas sweater. Yeah, it was it was pretty nice, like catching up with everyone. I love the environment. I love just everybody. So it's pretty nice. Got to stop by, see everyone, kind of hang out. Uh, I miss it a little bit, or a lot, you know, something like that. While I was there, I picked up some creatine, which is powder. I have the pills, but I don't like taking the pills before I work out. It's super simple just to take a scoop down and then uh, be ready to go. I ordered a bunch of supplements from EvoGen because it needed to be up. I am currently out of Glycogen, but I'm going to be doing a little haul review, I guess, of what all I got. So let's cut in to the box. Okay, that was simple. Dang, so before I even pull anything out of the box. Ugh. Packed all the way. Um, so first off is EVP Extreme. It's a pump and training igniter. Um, let's see. The liquid pump, which honestly I think it's the best on the market and is one of my favorite supplements right now. Let's see. Amino Chem, which these are aminos that I've heard really good stuff about. And this one. This is what I've been really excited about, which is their new stim-free pre-workout, is the EVP Extreme. Super, super, super excited about this because I don't have to worry about all the stimulants and everything and always being so freaking, like, cracked out every time I use my pre-workout, especially if I'm hitting, like, a late session or just constantly using it. So I'm super excited about this. Next is Glycojet which is just carbs I throw in before my workout. And it's just unflavored, so I mix it with my pre-workout and don't really taste it. Um, this, these little pills right here are Evo Log. And if I'm being honest, I don't know a ton about this one. I just know that before like a cheap meal or eating uh, tons of carbs or a bad meal, uh, take these and it's supposed to maximize digestion, glucose uh, optimization, and muscle volume. So I guess all the good stuff to keep those carbs from being used in a bad way. And then last but not least is the Isoject, which is just whey protein. And I got it in Mocha Ivochino. So I think it's a little spin-off on their name. I think I think it'll be a really good flavor. I'm excited. Okay, 
right, gonna do my initial review on the protein. Uh, hope it tastes pretty good. Hey, honestly, it's pretty solid. It tastes like coffee, really. I mean, it's actually pretty good. Like at the end of the day, like this is the type of protein. Like at the end of the day, like the last thing I have to hit. This is good. Definitely, taste is 10 out of 10. Really, really good. Honestly, I will have no problem drinking this. Normally, most proteins I drink, it's like, eh, like they're not bad, but like, kind of hard to get them down. But this one, I can get this down easy. This tastes actually amazing. Really good. So, 10 out of 10. To the, <laughs> the girl watching this video, thank you for making it this far. <laughs> no, seriously, I love you though, so much. And it means more than anything to me that you watched my entire video and made it to the end. Just the girl, not Just the, the one girl, nobody else, just her. I mean, there's probably just one girl that made it this far anyways. <laughs> no, but for real, thank you to everyone who watched the video and made it this far. It means the world to me. And I'm sorry for the lack of content, but it is 2020 now by the time I'm uploading this video. So we are back on that grind, ready to post once a week, maybe. Good luck with that. Yeah. Kenny doesn't believe in me anymore. He gave up, but we're here to prove him wrong. But look out for a new video within the next week because I have already recorded it. So thank you all so much for everything and I hope you have a great new year. Are you serious? I swear I'm letting you serious. Okay, all my checks, I just be carrying it. She's so magic that she can deliver.